Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, this video is about my newest uh, platform for long range FPV flying. I've been thinking a lot about uh, what kind of platform I was going to choose when it comes to fly uh, long range. Uh, uh, and uh, in the end, I ended up uh, going for this one. This is the Skywalker EV2000. This is a um, yeah, kind of a regular uh, flying platform, <coughs> but uh, it's quite huge. Uh, it's over 2.3 meter wingspan, and uh, uh, yeah, it's quite quite large. As you can see, it has a T tail. Uh, it has a small uh, tail boom. Um, this isn't isn't uh, the best form factor for a plane. It, this kind of uh, thin uh, tail boom will cause some drag, but uh, overall this platform is going to perform well because it's a slow flyer and uh, <coughs> it has uh, huge wings and uh, yeah, it's not like uh, you're gonna do much uh, uh, agility flying with this one. Uh, as you can see, I, I really like the form factor. Uh, it's uh, nice and it's uh, big, and uh, as you can see, the <coughs> the wings, um, uh, the carbon fiber booms will come through here and here, and uh, and the wings will just click on there, and you can see the contact on the side there for the ESC wires and uh, everything. So it's really clean and neat and uh, easy to to use and uh, and. Uh, and install. Uh, it's a two motor uh, plane, as you can see the wings here. Um, it has uh, quite, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a big uh, plane, so it has uh, quite uh, big motors and uh, uh, it has a 28, 28, 16, 12, uh, 550kV motors. It runs on 4 to 6s and I'm gonna run it, run it on 4s for now but uh, I've seen other people that uses this one that they often use 6s so maybe I need to do that myself I don't know I haven't flown it uh, yet yeah it's very well built um, there are uh, good strength and good rigidity in the in the wings no problem with that it's a standard setup for the servos and you can also install flaps here. As you can see there are uh, uh, cutouts for that. And uh, all the wires and ESCs and everything was uh, mounted in here and, uh, and this piece glued on afterwards. So it's very nice and neat to install. Yeah. Um, let's take a look inside. It's op it opens up in front here, and uh, it's it's gigantic inside. As you can see, there are lots of room in here. Let me show you. Um, you can put an iPad in here, uh, this size, and uh, and uh, this is like the. I think this must be the antenna of RC planes. Uh, you can see the uh, Pixhawk uh, in the back there. I have uh, installed the power wires on the sides and the and the Mavlink on the other side. Lots of rooms for battery. I've seen people putting 16 amp uh, 6S batteries inside there with no problem. Um, yeah. We did two inspection uh, openings here. There's a lot of space to get into the model and do adjustments and uh, look over everything. Uh, the Pixhawk uh, is the brain of this model and uh, you can see the um, uh, radio link, GPS antenna, the 1.3 GHz video transmitter. Uh, I have the Dragon Link uh, receiver here. Yeah. Quite standard stuff, but uh, there's lots of room. It's very nice to install in here. 
I'm not quite finished yet. I have some uh, more of the FPV equipment to install and the cameras and the video switch and everything. But uh, as you can see, the layout is uh, quite uh, straightforward. I um, have the antenna in back here. <coughs> it's a Cloverleaf uh, antenna. And uh, show you in front here. You have mounted the Dragonlink antenna uh, on the side here. And it goes up here through the through the uh, <coughs> uh, through the main body here and up through this uh, pipe. Yeah, it was quite straightforward to build. No special issues to mention here. It's uh, very nice to work on something so big. Yeah, the small the small quadcopters and racing drones are a different ball game. I can guarantee you. Yeah, on the back here you can see the T-form elevator and rudder. Yeah, nothing much to mention here. It's a quite nice design. Uh, all the wires goes inside here, and uh, and you can click this off. I'll show you. you can click it off, and then you will get to the wire inside it that goes for the elevator servo. That's up here. So I think it will will be quite easy to do some service work and or change the servos or things like that. Like I said, I haven't flown it yet. It's not finished, but uh, in a few days I will be finished with the setup. And uh, right now I'm working on the RSSI um, setup, and uh, of course uh, the FPV equipment has to be mounted and tested. So uh, yeah, nothing more to say than that. Uh, it doesn't have. Uh, uh, any wheels or anything on on the underside? I haven't decided yet whether I should mount that or not. Uh, I think it will be quite big to throw by myself while flying with the radio. So this is a model I think I need help to get in the air anyway. So yeah, we'll see how we how we will do this. Yeah, that was a quick presentation and I'm really looking forward to show you more about this one. And hopefully we can learn something together if you're considering buying something like this. Uh, I'm pretty sure I will make some discoveries on the way. And uh, uh, But most of all, I'm really looking forward to get it flying and, and get, on, get, get on with the longer flights. Very, very interesting project. Thanks for watching. Bye.